Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 we are working on module 2, lesson number 23, and tonight we are again dividing 3 and 4 digit dividends by 2 digit divisors. And we're basically using the standard algorithm for division, and then we're checking our answers with multiplication. So I'm going to take a look at another two problems from tonight's homework. Both are long division problems, not word problems. I want to give you more examples of us working through standard algorithm division together uh, so that hopefully you're able to both succeed on your homework, but as well as on your ed exit tickets and eventually on your assessments down the road. So let's take a look at two problems. Problem number one asks, divide, then check using multiplication. So really simple. So 1B is 1,495 divided by 45. Our whole is 1,495, so I'm going to go ahead and line that up, 1,495, and our divisor is 45. So we're going to go through the exact same process that we always do. We're going to start with our biggest units and see if we can make groups of 45. Well, if I have 1,000, I can definitely not make groups of 45 with that. And even when I think about it as 1,400s, if I think about those together, I decompose my 1,000 into hundreds and call this 1,400s, I still can't make a group of 45. So I think we're going to have to think about all three of these together. We're going to have to think about this as 149 tens. Let's see, 149 tens. Well, this is less than 50 tens, because I'm noticing that this is right by 150 and if this were 50, I'd be able to get three copies, three groups of 45. So I'm going to guess that I can get three groups of 45 um, out of that 149. Let's see if that's right. So I multiply 3 times 5. 3 tens times 5 is 15 tens. That's 15 tens. Oops. And let's see. 3 tens times 4 tens. That would be 12 hundreds. Plus this one would be 13 hundreds. So let's see. That's going to be 13 hundreds. Awesome. So it looks like my guess was right. Let's see if we can do the subtraction. 9 tens minus 5 tens is 4 tens, and 4 hundreds minus 3 hundreds is 100. No more thousands. I'm going to look at this number and see, could I have made more? And the answer is no, right? I could not make another group of 45 out of 14. So I'm going to think about these then, these 14, as in fact 141s. So I'm going to bring down my, the rest of my 1s, and now I've got a new problem based on 1s. And I'm noticing something again. When I had 30, when I had 3 up here, 3 times 45 was 135, so that looks great. I would love that number again. So I think I can make 3 groups of 45 again. 3 times 45, I already know what that is. It's 135. I could just write it right in, 135. I've already done that math. And I can do the subtraction and see, let's see, 5 minus 5 is 0. 4 tens minus 3 tens is 1 ten. And then our hundreds, 1 minus 1 is 0. So I end up with just... 10 left over. And again, I'm going to check. This looks like my remainder, but could I have made more cop more groups of 45? Nope, couldn't have done it. So I think I'm happy with my answer. My quotient is 33, and my remainder is 10. And now I need to switch to my red marker, and I need to check this out. I need to multiply my divisor times my quotient. So let's see. That's 45 times 33. And then I'm going to need to add in my remainder here at the end. So let's go ahead and do our multiplication. 3 times 5 is 15, so that's 5 like that. 3 times 4 tens is 12 tens, plus that one would be 13 tens. Awesome. And now I need to do this multiplication for my second partial product. 3 tens times 5 ones would be 15 tens. So we'll write like that. And then 3 tens times 4 tens would be 1,200 plus this one would be 1,300, 1,300. And now I need to go ahead and add my partial products. Five ones here would be just five. Three plus five tens would be eight tens. One plus three hundreds is four hundreds. And one thousand is that. Oh, and then I have to add in my remainder. So I'm going to do that over here. So 1,485 plus my remainder of 10, let's see, that's 5 1s, 9 10s, 4 hundreds, 1,000, and hey, guess what? 1,495, 1,495, we got back to our hole, and I'm gonna, I would say that is a double-checked answer. So we made our best guesses about how we're going to do our division, starting with our biggest units, we figured out our quotient, we figured out our remainder, and then we check our answer by multiplying our, di our divisor by our quotient, to get this, and then adding back in our remainder to see if we get our whole, we got our whole, double check, done. Let's take a look at one more problem tonight. Oops. Here we go. One more problem. 
And I'm actually going to make, I think, maybe a little bit of a mistake in this one. Um, or eh, I don't even want to say a mistake. I'm, I'm just going to make, I'm going to estimate poorly in this one, just to show you what I think um, some of you may face as you're doing your homework. So let's see. Let's look at this problem. 2,625 divided by 32. So I want to go ahead and set mine up. 2,625 divided by a divisor of 32. So again, I look at my biggest units. Can I make groups of 32 out of 2,000s? No, definitely not. And even if I think of this as 2,600s, I still can't make one group of 32 yet. So I'm gonna have to think about these three digits together. Three thousand, I'm gonna think about this as 262 tens, right? How many groups of 32 can I make? And I'm just thinking out, offhand here, hmm, can I make eight or seven? I don't know, I'm really unsure about this. How many can I make? Let's see, what if I said, ah, I think I make seven. I think I can make seven groups out of that, right? Let's see if I can do that. Seven times two is 14. 14 tens. Seven times three would be 21 hundreds, plus this one would be 22 hundred. Awesome. And then let's go ahead and see if we have anything left. We then, oh, we decompose our hundreds into tens. And we're going to do the subtraction. Let's see, 12 minus 4 is 8 tens. 5 minus 2 is 3 hundreds. And no more thousands. And I get to this point and I say, could I have made more groups of, th of 32? And the answer is yes, I could have. So it looks like my estimate just didn't go very well. I said I could make 7 groups, but it looks like I could make another one. It looks like I could do 8. So when something like that happens to me, you know, I don't need to do much. I just need to go ahead and back out my process. My, I'm going to go ahead and back out to this point, right? I just go back. Now, you're going to do it with an eraser. I do it with the back button. And I'm going to say, well, now, instead of seven tens, I think we can make eight tens. I think we've made 80 groups of 32. Let's see. Eight times two is 16. 16 like that. Let's see. Eight times three is 24, plus that is 25. 25. And now, can I do that subtraction? Oh, sure. That's, that's just... Let's see, six different, right? I can decompose one of my hundreds into tens. Then I have 12 minus six is six. And then five minus five is zero, and two minus two is zero. So there, I just have six. So six tens. Now I definitely cannot make groups, another group of 32 out of just six. But you know what I can do is that I can include the rest of my ones, and I can think about this as 65 ones. And now I can make some groups of 32. And I'm thinking I can make two of them, right? Because two of these would be 64, right? So I think I can make two groups. 2 times 32 is 64. 65 minus 64 is 1. I definitely can't make another group of 32 out of that. So it looks to me like my quotient is 82. And my remainder is 1. And now it's time to check my work. And I know to check my work, I'm always multiplying my quotient times my divisor. Let's see, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 8 it, tens is 16 tens. All right, that, so far so good. Let's see, 3 tens times 2 is 6 tens. 6 tens. 3 times 8 is 24. It's 24 like that. I can add up my partial products. Let's see, 4 plus 0 is 4. 6 plus 6 is 12. 1 plus 4 plus 1 is 6, and 2,000, like that. Oops, 2,000. Oh, and I have to remember to add back in my remainder. So 2,624, 2,624 plus my remainder of 1 is 2,625. And hey, 2,625, perfect. So I'm going to consider that double-checked, and I've successfully done my division. 2,625 divided by 32 gives us a quotient of 82 and a remainder of 1. So thanks for joining us for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.